Do you want to know how easy it is to get ODX data, Order for Candle Studio diagnostic description? Then stay tuned. Hello, my name is Leon and I'm a software developer for Candle Studio at Vector. Today I'm going to show you how you can export ODX files based on your Candle Studio CDD file. What you can see here is an instance of Candle Studio opened with an example CDD. If you want to export that to ODX, navigate to Data Exchange, ODX Export, and a setup window will show up. Here you can select the target path for your file, the file name, and the ODX version you want to have exported. You can also select whether you want to export the file as plain ODX or as packed ODX, which is PDX. Additionally, you can restrict the export to certain variants or certain target audiences. Also, with Canada Studio, there comes a view edition of ODX Studio, which allows you to inspect the file after the export. You can select it here. If you're satisfied with your setup, just hit save and wait for the file to be exported. So let's have a look into the exported ODX. You can see here that there are a lot of layers that have been exported. The Candle Studio base variant has been exported, of course, as an ODX base variant, and the normal variant has been exported as an ECU variant. Additionally, Candle Studio libraries get exported as ECU shared data. And interfaces like CAN or DUIP are exported as protocol layers. We are now back at our Candle Studio installation. There are many ways to configure the ODX export. For global settings, navigate to File. Options and ODX export. You can see here a list of available ODX export options. You can select them by clicking the corresponding checkbox. One of those options might be whether you want to export one file for each diag layer, a separate file, or whether you want to only export reference data types in contrast to every data type. Those are not all available export options. You can find more of them by hitting F1 and looking them up in the Canvas Studio help. Each of those settings can also be set in the Canvas Studio INI file. Each ODX export option can be overwritten using ECU attributes. For example, you see here the ECU attribute export unreferenced data types, which is set to no. It overrides the corresponding ODX export option set in the Canvas Studio INI or via the GUI. This technique can be used to ensure the stable export of a single CDD over multiple systems. Those global options are not the only way to configure the ODX export. Additional settings can be made using local attributes at individual elements in the document. For example, you can specify whether a service gets exported at a function group or at the ECU variant level. For this, navigate to attributes and there should be a DIG layer attribute predefined. And this, you can select the functional group leading to the service getting exported at the functional group layer. Another example of such a local setting is whether you want to export certain diagnostic classes using the ODX concept of tables. For this, you need to be in the expert view of Canvas Studio and navigate to diagnostic class templates, select the one you want, for example, measurements, go to properties and attributes. And here you can see the corresponding setting. Additionally, you can also set certain properties of the exported table, like the short name, the semantic, and the long name. Please note that these additional settings should be used carefully because they affect the structure of the generated ODX data significantly and therefore also the complete toolchain using the ODX data afterwards. Usually, those settings are configured once in a Canvas Studio template, but not for individual ECUs. You can find more information on those attributes using the Candela Studio help. Let's summarize what we have learned. We have seen how to export ODX files from Candela Studio documents using configurations in the ODX export dialog. Additionally, you can configure more advanced options via the use interface or setting corresponding ECU or local attributes. In the Candela Studio help, you can find a detailed description of all those options. For more videos and diagnostic topics, check out the Vector YouTube channel. Have a good day and see you next time.